Hi there and welcome to Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flyouts. Today we're going to be doing a photo P tutorial looking at one of these faces hidden within another face and another face and another face. Okay to do this we're going to need to have a photograph of the face. So we're going to go file open. We're going to find our photograph. We're going to open it. Then we're going to go over to the layers and we're going to go and duplicate the layer. We're going to make the first layer slightly bigger. So we're going to go to transform, scale, we're going to go to 110%. Okay. Once we've done that, you'll see one layer is slightly bigger than the other. We're going to use the smaller layer, this one, and we're going to draw around the head shape with the lasso tool. So we get a rough idea of what we're going to be cutting out of the other face. It doesn't have to be quite exact at the moment. We can modify it in a minute. What we'll do, we'll go around the head shape as accurately as we can. And once we've done this, we'll switch to the layer above. So you can see we've got this outline shape of where the head was from the smaller one. We will go to select and inverse. So we've got the outside bit to make our layer mask. Once we've made our layer mask, you will see we've got a big hole. We will go to just do some fine tuning on it. So we'll use the paintbrush and the white paint and we'll add some bits back in. We'll make it a little bit bigger. We'll just tidy up this edge up here. Make it a little bit bigger down this bit here. Come in a little bit more where the chin is. Because what we want to do is leave like the, it looks like a sort of hollow easter egg kind of effect so we'll make sure we've got enough of an edge for it to work like so and like that and then when we open up the background it will look like it is behind it so it's just a fraction more up here so we'll do a little bit more there and then we'll add the background back in okay perfect now what we need to do now is add a drop shadow and we do that by clicking on it going to the effects button down here adding drop shadow we need to make sure we've got no distance for our drop shadow so it's directly above it we need to make sure it's got about 50 percent spread and it's about 30 percent or 30 pixels wide that would be a little bit too much for 20 32 We'll bring the opacity up the darker we make it here the darker and you can see that it looks like there's a hole now we'll click ok and we'll just check that against the background and you can see it looks like we've got our face cut out so now what we need to do is duplicate that layer and on the bottom one of these two layers we need to go to image adjustments right edit and transform and scale and we're going to make this one 90 percent And you'll see we've instantly got one getting smaller. So if we go to this layer and we duplicate this layer, we then go to our edit button, transform and scale, and again we go for 90% as our scale. And we make sure they're in the right order, so we switch the order around. That one is now above that one, and that one's by that one. We're going to duplicate the smaller one, so we're going to duplicate the layer. Make sure we're on the bottom one here, makes it a lot easier in a minute. We're going to go to our Edit, Transform, Scale, and again, we're going to do 90%. Like so, and we will do this three more times, so we're going to duplicate the layer. We make sure we drag it to the bottom and we go edit, transform and scale and 90%. Okay. Now once we've got um, enough layers, I'm going to do one more just to show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to duplicate the layer again. 
I'm going to go to Edit, Transform and Scale. I'm going to do that 90%. Again, making sure I get them in the right order. It's very easy to get them muddled up. What we want to do now is make the background image much smaller so it looks like the little faces in the background. So to do this, we are going to, again, go to Edit, Transform and Scale again. This time we're going to make it 60%. And you can now see we've got this little tiny face out the back of our image. Now, I like this, this looks really cool, but again, we could do some improvements and we could try looking at it in black and white. We could try it with a plain background and I'll show you how to do those things now. Okay, so what we can do is we can go onto the top layer here, we'll add a new layer on top of it. We can add a gradient. So I always go for a black and white gradient, like so. We can then add a layer mask and we can use the black and paintbrush. Just make the opacity slightly see through. Make sure we're on black. Then we can mask out our image. So we get exactly the bits we want. coming free on our mask. Like so. You could use a bigger brush to do this if you wished. Um, once we've done this, we go back to our opacity, put it back up to full, and you can see there is our master image. And you can play around with that. If you wanted to make it black and white, you go to each individual layer, go image adjustments black and white, click OK, you could do alternate layers of colour and black and white, so image adjustments, black and white, looks quite cool, and then image adjustments, black and white, like so, and you have background one in black and white as well, image adjustments. So there's loads of different ways we could refine and adapt and change our image to suit our needs okay hopefully you've enjoyed watching today's tutorial if you have and you um, would like to make a face within faces obviously have a go you can use photop it's free you just go onto the internet type in photop.com and you can use it for free it's like photoshop and if you've enjoyed the video pop over to my channel hit that subscribe button and tick the notification bell so you know when i make new videos okay thanks for watching and enjoy